So good morning. Today we're gonna to be restoring some of my favorite trainers. And these happen to be my Ultra Boost. And I've had them for over five years now. And they are looking pretty dusty. Basically, if you wanna see that part of the video, I'm gonna leave timestamps in the description. But from this point onto the start of that part of the video, it's just gonna be a little vlog thing. I have just finished the workout, hence the t-shirt I'm just about to put on. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. And the reason why I'm going down this fashion route is um, the last fashion video I did with my Reebok trainers did very, very well. I think it's my second best performing video to date ever as well. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna go for a run now and then I'm gonna stream in about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, that is the plan of action today and let's go and get ready. So I made a bit of a blunder because it's now starting to rain and obviously I've got the shoes on <laughs> that I'm going to be cleaning. As you can see, they are pretty dusty. They're, they've seen their years of use. And uh, basically that's, those are the shoes we're going to restore today. And it's mega slippy on the floor. I just think I have no chance in this mud. The actual tread on where my, no, the ball of my foot, I should say, is um, pretty worn. So there's literally no grip when I'm running. You can actually see where the black rubber has gone. But yeah. Another quick update by Derbs. That's pretty pretty down there actually. Hang on. Just look here, but I'm not gonna go down there, it looks a bit dicey. I have been reduced to a stop because every oh fuck! That was a close one. Every step I take, one step closer to a sad and sad slip over, which will result in a pair of dirty trackies and potentially even the beanie, and that is disastrous. But yeah, we're loving life right now. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, look, at, look at the way I'm walking. <laughs> oh, I've just seen a squirrel go up the tree. Lovely bridge, cracked, safe. Hey, Nala, away. Just crossed the sketchy ass main road and now I'm in like some sort of alley location. I can see it. Better than yours, come on. Oh, it's just someone's garage. Oh, all oh, good. So, so, you're currently on a stream. It's like a, a paradox. You're look, looking at the screen, you're looking at it. It's just... I completely lost where I'm going. I've got too much going on. <laughs> so it's wakey wakey time. It's looking quite nice outside, I have to say. I've had breakfast, but I've got my to-do list for the day. But if you look outside, <laughs> it's snowing, which is really weird because it is March. And I'm pretty sure it snowed in March like a year or two ago, so that's pretty mad as well. But yeah, so I'm not sure if we're going to be going out later because I don't want Nala's paws to freeze. We'll have to see them. But she did go out there earlier, but she didn't stay out there too long. So I imagine <laughs> that it is quite poor, uh, cold on their paws. <laughs> Here's the part we've all been waiting for. And these are the trainers in question. These are my Ultra Boosts from, I think, 2017. And as you can see, they've seen a few bit, a fair bit of wear. I'm just going to go and smack these outside because, well, I went running yesterday and basically they caked in mud. So I need to go and get rid of all that mud. There's the majority of it gone. I'm just gonna wash these now. So as soon as we went through like, um, let's get a chair around in this bitch. Basically Sainsbury's, I think it was before COVID, they used these bags. So you have really, really reusable fruit bags. So you grab one of these and fill it with fruit and then you take it home. I use this to wash my laces. So, the first thing you want to do is undo the laces and just whack them in the bag. And to be perfectly honest as well, I'm not really looking for these to be restored to brand new condition because they will inevitably get worn again because I wear them on the intention that I know that they're going to get a bit more busted up. This is what I wear when I go out, even though it's not really the most smart attire. They are very comfortable, so if you are walking from club to club, doing that. Is your bag and that's basically that for this step now what you want to do is just wang these in the wash machine so in the wash machine there you go what we do then is add a tablet of course because they're quite muddy i'm not going to put any other wipes with them normally i would um put some other wipes in there so we're not wasting as much water but i don't want to stay in other, any of my other stuff so just whack a tablet in there we want to grab some conditioner and then the secret ingredient is some vanish. So we must have some. Right, so it's not, I thought we had like vanish we put in there, but it turns out it's just 
Steine wäre. So there are my two trainers. The tablet's in, the conditioner's in. And now you want to make sure they're on quite a cold wash because a lot of shoes they have glues on. Uh, I found this out the hard way. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically why we wash colder. But you want to get the mud out, so 40 degrees should be perfect. But yeah, that's basically that. And we'll come back in about whenever it's done washing and we'll show the results there. One eternity later. So the trailer's now finished. I've just had some lunch and uh, finished editing a thumbnail for an upcoming stream. But now we're going to have to inspect them and make sure that they're all up to standard. So I have looked at them. I mean, vast significant improvement over the last pair. Uh, if you're really into restoring your shoes, you'd be looking to sort of restore the bottom bit. Um, maybe change this from a white, uh, an off-white to a white. Oh, I'm painting this silver. This used to be silver as well. But yeah, I'm happy with these. <laughs> they will be good for another time in the club. That's, <laughs> that's how I restore my trainers. I know it's a little bit clickbait, but the last fashion video did very well. Um, <laughs> so basically, I've got my shoes right here. I'm gonna slide these bad boys back in and then, and then you put the laces back in. And then, then, as you see, the shoe is now refurbished as such. You can't really see I'm just getting it on the, under the spotlight, but the the black marks that were on the front before I can't actually notice anymore. So yeah, they are they have turned out way better than I thought they would. They, these are the most comfortable trainers I have ever owned. So if you're looking for a new pair of running trainers or just lifestyle trainers in general, these are pretty good. Obviously I've just plugged the Reebok C85 trainers, but they are also very comfortable. So don't know what I'm on about. Check the link now because this video is about to end. But yeah, on that note, basically that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button. If you didn't, if you're new around here, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.